What's up, your gang? Welcome to the Inner Sanctum. I'm your guru. Come on in, sit, stay, relax, put your feet up, grab a couple snacks, have yourself a hot cold beverage, your choice, your prerogative. My sanctum is your sanctum. And enjoy my reaction to episode one of the premiere episode of um, the series on HBO Max, The Last of Us, inspired by the video game, the popular video game. And, um,. Spoiler alert, if you have not uh, played the video game, there, 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 are, there is a particular death that may or may not happen in Season 1, but I'm not going to spoil it for you. But for those that haven't played the video game or seen that particular scene in the, in the game itself, um, I'll, just like, well, I'll, I'll just leave it at that and um, let you um, uh, basically uh, find out for yourselves on the fate of one of the characters. So... Um, and this episode is titled, When You're Lost in the Darkness, so let's not waste any time and get into the reaction part itself. But before we do, if you enjoyed any of my content, whether it be from my Inner Sanctum channel or YG Anime channel for all things anime, the link is right there. Check that out. Help support that channel as you're supporting this channel, which I greatly appreciate. Tip my hat to you. Um, and uh, like I said, if you enjoyed either content for your channel, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. And hit that notification bell and you'll be notified of any future videos being posted on either channel. And um, when it comes to the full-length reaction of this episode, it'll be posted by Patreon. And um, it's all full links to up on your end. And that link, along with my social media links, posted underneath this video in the description section. And with that said, let's get into episode number one of uh, HBO Max's series, The Last of Us. Title episode, When You're Lost in the Darkness. Alright, here we go. And that's your biggest worry? Yes, any kind of virus, but most probably something similar 1968. to 1968. Because very right. new virus in Madagascar, say, could be in Chicago within a matter of weeks, and we end up with a global pandemic. Pan meaning all the whole world becomes sick all at once. So I know that, dude. Just, I the middle. Prospect of a he was a peacemaker. Keeps you up at night as well. No. No? No. All right, well, that's our show. <laughs> Sometimes millions of people die as in an actual war. But in and the this end, dude was in The Mummy. Win. Uh, but you, uh, just to be clear, you, you do think microorganisms pose a threat? No. You like saying no? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> not bacteria, not viruses, so... Fungus. Fungus needs food to live, so it begins to devour its host from within, replacing the ant's flesh with its own. But it doesn't let its victim die, no. It keeps its puppet alive by preventing decomposition. How? Where do we get penicillin from? Fungus. Blue fungi cannot survive if its host's internal temperature is over 94 degrees. But what if that were to change? What if, for instance, the world were to get slightly warmer? Hmm. Well, now, there is reason to evolve. So any one of them could become capable of burrowing into our brains and taking control, not of millions of us, but billions of us, permanently fixed on one unifying goal. <laughs> and there are no treatments for this, no preventatives, no cures. They don't exist. It's not even possible to make them. So if that happens... We lose. Hmm. Ominous words. 2003, all right. Alarm. Alarm. Ah, scrambled eggs. Where's the pancake mix? Oh, was that? Yeah, it was. Sorry. It's gonna make you birthday pancakes. I swear. Oh, it's his birthday, all right. I really like pancakes. Is there enough for Uncle Tommy? In the water bag. Hey, sit alive, you old fucker. Mom, <laughs> he loves you. He's dependent on me. Concrete guy's gonna be there? Yeah, they said maybe. Maybe. We can't frame until we pour. We're not getting paid until we frame. Well, we could bring someone else on. Get the oh, no. I'm not splitting this job. I barely want to split it with you. Mm -hmm. Work a double. Literally? Today? Oh, no. I'd be done by nine. By nine, right? Yeah. Jakarta. Where is that? Middle East? It doesn't ring a bell. It's definitely a country. Maybe part of Asia? Jakarta isn't a country. It's the exclusive of being a country, and in fact, it's the capital of Indonesia. Hmm. Yeah. All right. Hope huh. for us, yeah. Smart as a whip. What 
what's he doing? Oh, stealing money. <coughs> Big knife. Well, not all of it. She didn't sell all of it. Hi. Uh, Connie was asking after you. Said you hadn't been over in a while. Make him happy. I could come by after school. She'll take what you got. Hmm. Y'all can pay. Whatever. Speaking of, we got a lot of extra here. Y'all want some biscuits? Come on, Atkins. Why <laughs> Atkins. Not? It's, uh, you know what? We got to run, but Sarah will be by later. She'll stay as long as you want. Tell you all about Atkins. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> Texas, Austin, September 26th. I want you to write the credit kits. Where adverb. You see it? Okay, have some knowledge, shaking of heads. I swear you will use Who's doing it? So Oh, that kid. Not intentionally. No, oh, food truck. And something to eat. Oh, it's not going to the food truck. Oh, pawn shop. That's it. Okay, 30. 20's good. It's a spring. I'll do it right now. Oh, no, no, no. She's uh, getting her dad's watch um, fixed. It's a birthday gift. We're done for today. It's 3.15. We close at 7. I'm already finished. She looks scared. Something's happening. There you are, sweetie. Sorry. I was getting worried. I was getting something for my dad. Huh? Hi, Mercy. Hmm. People out there need to get right with Jesus. Hmm. Three nails plus one cross equals four given. Make some cookies. Chocolate chip? Raisin. <laughs> I'd rather have chocolate chip. normal now. Uh oh, the dog knows something's wrong. Mercy. Oh, let's hear our jets. You locked the door for once. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. It's ten. Oh no. They gave us the wrong size for the headers. Where's the cake? I brought the cake. <laughs> Come on, man. I'll get this one tomorrow. I swear. You don't get your present. You got me present? Uh-huh. Well, uh... Fix it for you. That's considered right over. Uh -huh. Did you? <laughs> what? I don't hear anything. <laughs> Where'd you get the money for this? Drugs. <laughs> I sell hardcore drugs. It's better when I do. Stole from your dresser. Which I stole from you. <laughs> I could have so sold it to you, but I could have for it himself. Thank you. Oh, there's one more. <gasps> Barred from the Adlers. Oh, this is the one with the deleted scenes. Yeah, <laughs> imagine how bad those have to be. Come on, pop it in. Let's do your birthday. Don't fall asleep. Of course I won't. It's too riveting. <laughs> yeah, she fell asleep. Oh. What's 
my fault this time. You gotta bail me out. Now. It's Friday. You don't get me out tonight. I'm in here all weekend. It's a fucking madhouse, Joe. I gotta get out. Well, which jail? Travis County? Yeah, I'm 10. Oh, oh, okay. Dad? Oh. Indoors. Law enforcement and emergency services are in the area and will be in contact with further instructions. A strong military presence. Come on, let's get you home. He's scared. He's trying to warn you. Mercy! Mrs. Adler? Don't go inside. No! Mrs. Adler? Oh, that's not good blood. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> Don't look back, just run. Get the truck! Right now! Move! Mm. What are we doing, Joe? Just shoot it! Headshot. Just in case. I'm sorry. Joe, we gotta go. Sorry. Just listen to me. It's not just the Adlers. But we're gonna be brave and we're gonna get out of this. Oh, that's not good. Hey, let's go, come on. Okay. Come on. On. Just run him over. <laughs> Don't go near him. Oh, well, that's not good. Daddy. You don't know. They're saying it's a virus, some kind of parasite. It's different terrorists? I don't know. Are we sick? No, of course we're how do you know we're not sick? They're saying it's mostly people in the city. That's why they got the highway blocked off. Let's we drive. Got a kid, Joe. So do we. Keep driving. We could do the back. Self preservation. Fuck! Everybody had the same fucking idea. Alright, take the field. We cut across and we pick up on the, on the west side. Yeah, 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 yeah. West, west, alright. Alright, hang on. Taking it all. Everybody else is following. Oh! Oh! Fucking on. We can't go south, we can't go east, we can't go west. How else are we supposed to go? Tommy, come on! Yeah, I know that place. It's gonna work. Yeah, but then we'll cut off Mexico. Just far. Hmm. As far as we can. How much gas? Three-quarter tank. Oh! Three planes. All right, keep going, keep going. Tell me I can't stop you. I can't drive through them. Are you serious? Just keep going! Oh, ho, ho, ho! Uh oh! 
Separated. Boston is like a wasteland now. Hmm. I trust that could be one of those uh, infected. I take a precautionary measures bound in case. He's one of those affected. We don't want you falling out of the chair. What's your name? And, uh, how did you get this? Eee, okay. Be a little tickle right here. Hmm. Told you that after we gave you some medicine, we're going to find you your favorite food to eat. Would you like that? Hmm. And then we'll get you some new clothes and toys. It's just a little needle. Hmm. It's okay. You're safe. Is he though?
more bodies coming in. Joel. Yeah. Apparently she knows. Oh. Ooh. A kid. You can't. She can't burn a kid. Oh, it's the kid. You got anything else? Nothing today. Tomorrow we got street sweeping or sewer maintenance. Which pays more? That'd be the one with the shit. Hmm. Late crew, 4 p.m. start. Getting work. Any work, for that matter, to get paid. Violation of EMC 342.3. Unauthorized exit from the quarantine zone. Maria Alessiano, 2.7. Ooh, public executions. Mm. By the court martial panel. With a sentence of death by execution as empowered under the EMC Come on. That's currency of some sort. Cigarettes or weed. <clears throat> Oxy? No. Hydro. Drug dealer. How old? Three months. From Atlanta? I don't know where he gets them from. I just know it supposedly only makes two things pills and bullets. Mm. Bullets and pills. The more you shoot people, the harder it is to sleep, I guess. I need the bag back. Hmm. That's a side hustle. 600 total? Those trucks are shit heaped for a reason. And they don't have any batteries. I know. I could see about 200 for the other guys. 200 for you. I'll stay off the streets for the next few nights. Fucking Firefly's been blowing shit up all week. Two of our guys got shot this morning. Bosses got us working doubles. It's easy to make a mistake in the dark. Hmm. Stay safe. Yeah, you too. So I to make a living. And you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. What do you want me to say, Tess? I'm not asking you to say anything. Sure. It's not like I planned on ripping you off. Uh oh. Sorry. Well, how about we just let it go? Well, he stole from her. What else are you gonna do? You gonna keep me here? Kill me? Oh, Tess, okay. Come on. Then she stole from him. Okay. What do you want? I want you to forget this ever happened. It's just a truck battery. I paid you for it, you sold it to someone else, and you spent my money. I mean, you think I've never done shit like that? My guy's fucked you up. The key answers to me. So I give you my word that he won't hurt you. I'll tell him that I got jumped by some guys. Now your shit has pretty much ruined my week. Hmm. And I'd like to go home and drink till my face stops hurting. So are we good? Oh, all right. I don't know if that's either bad or good. Uh, your opportunity to escape. Got off, a, got off free. Not like getting punished or beaten up or killed. Now oh, that's not good. Oh. Oh, there's Ellie. Count slowly and clearly from one to ten. One, two, three, four. Slowly and clearly. Five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Fuck. <laughs> 
people are gonna come looking for me. People from Fedra, you hear me? Let me out or you're gonna pay, motherfuckers! <laughs> I'm not supposed to be here! <laughs> or my son, the smart one, not the other one, God bless him. <laughs> if Tommy responded, we'd know. I'm still looking for Tommy. To tower. Show me where the tower is. You can't be serious. Joel, it's in Wyoming. Uh, all, all this open country, uh, you're capable guy. Yeah, Wyoming's a large, massive land, so... Out there. I hear everything on this. It's, uh, it's the Cody Tower. Bar four, but I don't know exactly. It's a start for him. Checking the oxy. Ooh. And drinking. Not good. Combo. Oh, it's a watch that his daughter gave him. That uh, fixed for it for him. Broken. Oh, okay, it's the same lady that was escaped. I got jumped. Hmm. Soon he's gonna die out there. Okay, fuck it. We get our money back and the battery. I'm terrified of you. So you watch out of here. I'll clean Eastwood. He's gonna get wind of it and skip. I need you to take a breath. But we're gonna find out quietly. Understand? Guessing car batteries well, are hot commodity these, these days. Again. So let's go hunt that motherfucker down and get our battery and our truck. And then we'll go find Tommy. All right? The head honcho? We've been blowing up meaningless Fedra targets spread out all over the QC for two weeks. We've already lost four people and we're... What's the point of this? My answer is to follow fucking orders. <laughs> and why do you have some random girl locked in a room and the guys you have guarding her won't tell me shit? Our people are asking what's going on and I don't know what to tell them. Tell them to follow fucking order! Kim. Marlene. We are in a war against a military dictatorship to restore democracy and freedom to the sound of our right. We hit them here, 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 here. Where are we right now? I want Fedra everywhere but here. Every Firefly in Boston is going to gather in this building, and we are going to leave the QZ permanently. Hmm. We're quitting? No. We're taking that random girl locked in that room west. Strategic retreat. Tell me to look for the line, and I'll break your jaw. <laughs> 
Well, I mean, it cost us a couple of cards, but uh, we got him. He's supposedly taking the battery to a red tagged building. Forget this. The corner of Stillman and Cross. I mean, we could take the subway tunnel under Haymarket, get into the building from below, and take Robert by surprise. Pay this fucker back. Okay. Giving her a weapon. You're not scared. Then unlock me. How about we start with thank you? I'm the one who told him not to shoot you, if you recall. Mm. Ah, releasing her with the key. So can I go? No. Mm. I won't tell anyone about any of this. I swear. Where are you going to go? Back to Federal Military School? I think I chose that place. They put me there when I was a baby. It's for orphans. They didn't put you there. I did. Ellie. But her mom? You're my fucking mom or something? <laughs> I look like your mom. Oh, okay. than any of us could have ever imagined. Mm. What I'm about to tell you cannot be repeated to anyone. Because if you do, I assure you, you will die. Mm. Oh! Oh! oh. He was infected. Oh, maybe down here is where he was infected. Mm. It's like they reframed the whole structure. Probably in the 80s, everyone was cutting down on apartment sizes to sell more condos. Oh, this has been construction corner. So this this opens into the hallway. Fuck, someone put a piano in front of me? You smell that? Yeah. Gunpowder. And blood. Here. <laughs> the Freedom Fighters um, got shot. The battery's no good. Hmm. He still tried to sell it. <clears throat> you greedy fuck. Oh! oh. Hey, they meet. You okay? Yeah. Ellie. Ellie. So this is who Robert screwed us over with? The Che Guevara of Boston? I mean, war must be going pretty shitty for you to be buying from scumbags like him. Yeah, it kind of has been. The Merc, give me my knife. What do you need a car battery for? Go. Not at her. Point it at me. And to answer your question, I need it for a better reason than you do. No offense, but Tommy's just one man. It's our business to know things. To know things. Hmm. We were gonna move Ellie out of the zone tonight, but we won't make it anywhere like this, not for a while anyway. So now I'm thinking, you're gonna do it. Who is she? To you, she's cargo. We don't smuggle people, sorry. I can do it. Kim, you don't have a fucking hair on your fucking head, could you please? Uh -huh. There's a gone. waiting for her at the old state house. I know what's out there. We were going with an entire squadron for that very reason. You get her there safely. And they'll give you what you need. Not just a battery. The whole thing. Fueled up truck. Gun supplies. All of it. Asshole! <laughs> you trust her? 
No. I mean, it's Firefly vehicle usually means repurpose Ventra stuff. So better than decent chance making it to Tommy in one of those. The second we hand that kid over... We all talk it through, but please remember that I'm bleeding out. Let's go. Right. Here's the deal. We'll get her to your crew at the state house. Give us everything that we want. If not, we kill her. There and then. Deal. Really? That fast? I'm we'll right here. <laughs> don't jeopardize that. Now go get your backpack. Now, Ellie. Mm-hmm. Give us a minute, all right? What the fuck? <laughs> so what's the plan? Mm, there's not a lot of options. Number one hit, Spillboard. Yeah, <laughs> 60, 70, 80. Radio's a smuggling code, right? Oh. 60s song, they don't have oh, any stuff. stuff. They've got new stuff. What's 80s? Your watch is broken. It was a gift from her deceased daughter. You mumble in your sleep. I've never been on the other side of the wall. Look how dark it is. You guys go out there a lot? I guess. When was the last time? Maybe a year. What's it matter? But you know where to go. So we're going to be okay. Yeah. So what's the deal with you anyway? You some kind of big wig's daughter or something? Something like that. Oh, well, the radio came on when you were sleeping. What? What was the song? I kept saying, like, wake me up before you go go. <laughs> Wham. Shit. Gotcha. 80s means trouble. Code broken. Mmm. Listen. The spot under Lancaster looks good. You got a jacket in your pack? Yeah. Okay, get it. It's time to go. <laughs> Get down. Keep your voice down, too. We're going to take the left edge around the buffer zone. You stay close, and you follow my lead. Yeah, yeah, of course. Basically, Hogan's hero did. Take a leak. Oh, it's this hey, dude. Guys, <laughs> okay, let's talk this out. Turn around. Here, Get hold on. Your fucking knees. Get on your fucking knees. We'll split the cards into you. Oh, were you? Yeah. I'm so blessed. Hands on your head, eyes forward. Hands on your head. All right, what about three quarters? Unauthorized exit. I'll we'll hang you for that. Fine, everything off of this run. Risk my job for half off of your fucking mind. Hey, hey, oh, hey, what the hmm? fucking bitch. Hmm? Oh, this is just escalating quickly. Move. Gotta do what you gotta do, Joel. Okay, he's flashing back. Okay, move, Joel. 
Oh, now you got a weapon. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. <clears throat> oh, radio. And the adventure begins. Woo! Okay. Alright, episode number one. Um, when you're lost in darkness, and it pretty much set the tone for the uh, rest of the series for season one. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it, and I started out with that those uh, two scientists, um, basically just a, a point and counterpoint of what if scenarios um, when it comes to fungus and infections, and then moving on, uh, we get to be introduced to um, Joel and uh, not Ellie, but Joel and his daughter and um, and his brother Tommy. Uh, integral parts of the uh, of the video game. Uh, unfortunately, um, uh, Joel's daughter ends up uh, getting shot and killed. And then um, twenty years later, uh, as they try to escape uh, uh, an in, uh, a military um, a military lockdown, um, and then um, yeah, uh, his daughter gets shot. Twenty years later. Um, the infections, uh, the uh, towns and uh, cities have been um, infected, and um, now it's like uh, just a, a military uh, a lockdown in which um, uh, martial law is taken over, in which um, people uh, are just basically um, uh, uh, captured or living living a life that just basically um, has them fearing for their life um, because you don't know who's going to be infected and they the, the get by uh, pretty much on trying to um, live a life of um, as normal as can be but we're living in the uh, like the effect, infecto apocalypse and, or zombie apocalypse or whatever the case may be uh, the, uh, infected and um, uh, and Joel, and we and we find out Joel is, is um, doing some hustling, selling drugs, whatever the case may be, and um, instead at that, and at the same time trying to um, save up or uh, um, gather enough uh, equipment to find his brother Tommy because he's out there somewhere, and he's not hasn't stopped um, looking, and during that moment. Um, uh, during this episode, uh, he's uh, he ends up um, uh, just uh, um, coming face to face with um, with Ellie, or or at one point she called herself Victoria, but the uh, leader of the Freedom Fires um, or the Fireflies um, knows her real name, and that's Ellie, and uh, and knows her as as someone who. Um, has looked out for her and apparently has a, a, a considerable knowledge of her to the point where she knows she, uh, Ellie is the uh, cure for the uh, infection that's going around and um, yeah and that uh, and, and that uh, in the very beginning of the episode you see um, the uh, that that old lady get um and get uh, was uh, was we're well, not talking but then. Uh, as um, uh, Joel's daughter was just looking for DVDs, you could see her it was like um, animated, uh, brought to life. And the dog was weird. I was uh, alerted to it, and 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 the dog um, was trying to warn everybody, but he ran off. And uh, and we know what happened to the to that to the, the old lady and her husband. And uh, pretty much everybody uh, it's uh, is now um, infected uh, except for. Um, Joel and Tommy. So, um, and now they're uh, Joel, Tommy, not not Joel, but Tom, uh, uh, Joel, Ellie, and that other lady. I forgot her name. Just uh, 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 escaped and escaped the uh, facility, um, lockdown facility, and now they're on their way to to basically um, take her to uh, to to the powers that be in order to. Um, in order for to save everybody, um, because Ellie is the cure, um, apparently. So yeah, um, and um, he had to do what he had to do when it, when he flashed back on that 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 
uh, individual he was um, associated with. Um, not, not a friendly association, but a business type association. And um, the moment he uh, drew his gun, he flashed back to that moment where um, his daughter got shot. So it, it wasn't going to happen a second time. So he protected uh, the package. And um, yeah, so. And then the radio came on. So it could be a good thing or a bad thing. But I wasn't familiar with that song. So yeah. Looking forward to episode two, and I'm very, I'm, yeah, it's a pretty good episode um, for episode one. Set the tone, like I said. And if you enjoyed my uh, reaction to this episode, um, uh, the full length reaction of this episode, I posted on Patreon and Rum, uh, P Patreon, um, and then that link along my social media links posted underneath this video in the description section. And like I said, if you enjoyed um, my content for my Inner Sanctum channel, or YG Anime Channel for all things anime. Link is right there. Check that out. Help support that channel. Or support this channel. Which I greatly appreciate. Tip of the hat to you. And like I said. If you enjoyed either content for your channel. Make sure to like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. In order to be notified of any future videos. Being posted on either channel. And with that said. Um, uh, tip my hat to you. May the force be with you. Until next time for episode 2 of. HBO Max's series. The Last of Us. Alright. Later.